Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Heidi from My Reading Life and I'm here today to film the beginning of a very special vlog. This very special vlog is a tribute to our own Britta Bowler for her birthday. Happy birthday, Britta. So in honor of Britta's birthday, I will be reading one of Britta's books and vlogging about it. So I will be reading book number three in her Peter Posthumus series. This is Deadly Secrets. Um, this is the mystery trilogy that she co-authored with Rodney Bolt. So obviously Britta is her first name and then Bolt is Rodney's last name. So yes, a dual writing team. This mystery series takes place in Amsterdam and it follows the adventures of Peter Posthumus who works for a special city department that puts on funerals for um, people who have no family or no friends or anybody to claim the body to provide for funeral services. And Peter can't just, you know, do a funeral, right? He really gets involved in researching the person's background and trying to find out what their story is. And he's just a very caring person who is very curious and can't let things go. Um, so I've read the first two books in the trilogy and very much enjoyed them. And I'm very excited to read the final book in the trilogy um, over the course of this vlog. So not only is Britta a amazing published author of not just this mystery series, but some other books as well. Um, and I will leave a list of the books that Britta has published in the description box below. Um, but she is also, she's just a brilliant person. I mean, you all know that. She's a great and kind friend. She's very generous. She has been working as a lawyer in the human rights field. She is a professor of uh, teaching young law students. I mean, there's just so many qualities about her that make her a fabulous role model. Um, so in honor of Britta's other career, her law, her law career and her work as a feminist um, and, a hum, and a person who's involved in um, human rights, uh, I am going to be, or I already am listening to uh, the audiobook of this, My Own Words, Ruth Bader Ginsburg with Mary Hartnett and Wendy Williams. So this book, um, I decided to read during this vlog as well because Britta is a big fan of RBG, as am I. Um, Britta is a lawyer, as is RBG. RBG is well known for her work for equality among the sexes, and Britta is well known for her work on human rights and equality. So I figured what better book to honor Britta on her birthday than to, to read this book that I had on my shelf, My Own Words. Um, Kim from Middle of the Book March had recommended that I listen to it on audio, so I picked up an audio version of this and I've been listening to it this week um, on my uh, travels during work hours and it is really, really excellent on audio. I would highly, highly recommend if you're interested in this book at all, which is a collection of Ruth Bader Ginsburg's writings, um, speeches, remarks that she gave for different events. Um, there's even a couple of uh, introductions that were made by her husband about her. Those are recordings of Marty Ginsburg speaking about Ruth. Amazing. Um, the excerpts that are in Ruth's own voice, she get her giving a speech or accepting um, the, her speech, accepting the nomination for Supreme Court Justice is in here. It's just so emotional and beautiful. Um, this has really, uh, I already had a lot of respect and admiration for RBG, but listening to this, um, my respect and admiration has just grown. So uh, if you are interested in this, I can already, before I even finish it, highly recommend the audio version of my own words. So I will be talking about this as well as this during the course of this vlog, um, and also showing a few clips of things that Britta enjoys. So come along for the ride, come along for the celebration of Britta on her birthday, and happy birthday, my friend.
as I've said before, these books by Britta Bolt, um, Britta and her friend, Rodney Bolt, um, are about Peter Posthumus, who works for the um, department of the city of Amsterdam that deals with uh, people who die without any family and no way for them to pay for a funeral. So his department sort of sets the funerals up and tries to like close the close the door on a life. And so I think that this description that I'm about to read you really, um, really sums up Peter in a nutshell. So almost every working day, he constructed the stories of lives from the books, the photos, the music collections of his clients, from their letters, the pictures on their apartment walls, finding a shape, building up a portrait that he could use at the funeral. Mostly, he found, even among the saddest or humblest of them, that there was an eloquence in the way the elements hung together. You couldn't always spot it at first, but it was there, after a little prodding and some thoughtfulness, a clue, a way in, that helped you compose the whole. Maya at the office said he was a time waster, but Cornelius understood what he was going on about. It was what Cornelius did in writing his elegies, but occasionally the elements jarred, the parts would just not fuse, and when that happened, Posthumus couldn't ignore it. He couldn't let things go, not until he had found the flaw that was preventing his pulling everything together. It was almost physical, the sensation that got hold of him, and he was feeling that discomfort now, thinking about Ben Olsen. So, yeah, and then it goes on to talk about um, the person who... Uh, Peter Poshmus is trying to figure out what's happened to him, this Ben Olsen. So that really describes it in a nutshell, what Peter Poshmus is all about. He's just this guy that, you know, once he gets a sense about something, he can't let it go. And so when this puzzle piece is missing, he has to search out the pieces and put the puzzle together. And I am, I am just loving the ride of him solving all of these mysteries. Anyway, I thought that might give you a better idea of what Peter Poshmus is all about. finished uh, My Own Words by Ruth Bader Ginsburg with Mary Harnett and Wendy W. Williams. And yeah, this was great. Fantastic on audiobook, as I've said. Um, this is a collection of some of Ruth Bader Ginsburg's writings, speeches that she gave. Um, there's even excerpts from dissents that she gave from the bench when she uh, was a Supreme Court Justice. Um, and it's just fascinating following the thinking of this brilliant, brilliant woman who was consistently throughout her life an advocate for equality and women's rights. Um, she never wavered from that. And I think it's really fascinating to follow the writings of such a woman who was born in the, you know, she came up through the 50s and 60s when women were not encouraged to be educated or to follow the law specifically. So it's really interesting to, uh, you know, get a glimpse of her throughout her life. Her earliest writing that's in this book is from when she was 13 years old um, and she wrote a column for the school newspaper. So yeah, you really get to see the evolution of her thinking um, through these writings. And because I listened to it on audiobook, it was a delight to hear some of the excerpts um, in her own voice, in Ruth Bader Ginsburg's own voice, which it was very touching in places and just really moving to hear her articulate her own thoughts. She was such a careful speaker um, and it really it really shows when she's giving some of her opinions, especially on legal matters. Um, there is, because of the fact that this is selections throughout her life and excerpts, there are some re repetitive 
themes throughout and also some actual phrases that get repeated because she built on her ideas throughout her life. But I did not find that that detracted from this at all. And I will say also that the paper copy is great because it has photographs um, of RBG through her life. So super glad I read this and think that um, you can't do better to honor Britta on her birthday than to read some of Ruth Bader Ginsburg's own writings because uh, two very strong, very articulate, very intelligent women who have worked their, you know, their adult lives to further the progress of women and all people in the world through uh, movements for equality. So yeah, definitely check this one out. <music>